I needed this badly. about your refusal to take part in her designs. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Okay. Alright. So. Hmm. Shotgun. That could be useful. Anything else I need to do around here? I don't think so. game frozen I think it is shit load oh crap I have to do this again bastards Keep shooting at those pieces. And I'll just turn you too. There we go. And we've heard this crap before, so I'm gonna skip I'm by. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Save now, just in case it buggers up again, and run downstairs for spot of booze. Whoa. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Well, shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you. But you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this. But you forced me. You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you?
And yeah, I'm back, I'm back. Hold on. What strange fate twists befall us? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. Oh, you want to talk, humans. dear sister? Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Or don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Do not let her exhume your dark past, or your past dark mistress. No. Please continue, Ivory Goddess. Had his way with you, and he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night, always the obedient daughter, until they'll shut up. Just shut up! Go on, Ivory Princess. Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. It's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? You've taken care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down, blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You had it coming since our last sunrise. Rise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Does the Dark Daughter speak the truth, White Mistress? She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Yes, the Dark One called the Reaper down on me. Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father, father loved me. I was a good girl. I yes, always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What of Janice, white mistress? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. I don't listen to her. She's lying. And Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. But that's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. Dark deed for the dark daughter. I guess. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. That. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give Father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the boomstick. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call up the view if that will get you out of my city. This is acceptable. My persuasion was high enough. Tongue's uh, hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business then is finally complete. What you witnessed here. Not a word to anyone. Well, I'm telling everyone. Um, I understand I'm gone. Yeah. Uh, if my persuasion was high enough, I can convince them to get them work, working together. But that would require me like going back and upping my... Actually, now that it's here. Um, yeah, I'm going to die. Great. 
right. I should really up my. There we go. Or persuasion. Where is it? Persuasion. Scholarship. Yeah, I'll make that. There we go. Persuasion of six. I don't want to let that fall apart. I can forego having make you die powers. Mind bullets. The sewers are all muddy with a thousand lowly suicides. Okay, that's crazier than my character. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? Fested in your brain that I look for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Nasty dude. Nasty dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? No, your nastiness was shown to me by the little, uh, little golden ghoul. Aw, oh, shit, I'm out caving. And you ran into Knox, too. You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. Oh, well. Bertram Tongue, the nasty dude. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, Fledgling. I know who you are. Then you know more than I do. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. And survive I did. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seek a strange house of wares, oh nasty dude. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. Oh, now I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Street, a secret sorrow and sickness. Tell me of the Sabbat. The Sabbat. Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not going to say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. Dear. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. What of the hapless humans? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Do they know their, of their dark masters? Yeah. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you bring me there with shoes of air and feathers? What? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. My pocket, um... Light the way for me, your dude-dudeness. 